Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's very nice to be here, and uh, thank you to the organizers for inviting me. I'm uh, Christos Kotsogiannis. Um, I'm based in the UK, University of Exeter, and I'm also leading the, uh, the Tax Administration Research Center, which is a center that is doing research on tax administration primarily, but you know, taxes more broadly. Now, uh, now this, this, this project, uh, is, uh, as you can see, the title is Audits and Compliance, Evidence from uh, Ugandan Administrative Data. Uh, and I'm delighted that I'm, uh, I have teamed up with, a, with, a lex with an excellent uh, you know, team of uh, researchers uh, with different expertise. Uh, David Henning from you know, UCLA, uh, Yuga you know, Putila, who is uh, also here. Uh, he's gonna answer all difficult questions uh, if you have at the end. Uh, and uh, you know, Luca Salvadori, who's based in, in Barcelona. Now, uh, th th this paper is about, about audits. Um, is, is about understanding uh, whether you know, tax audits have uh, an impact, uh, a compliance impact. Oh, before I, I continue, this is part of a, of a project, uh, long-term cooperation between uh, in the UN wider and the um, uh, Uganda Revenue Authority. Uh, and also, I need to say something else, which is uh, there's a disclaimer that the, the views are our own and uh, they don't reflect uh, you know, those of the um, you know, UN wider and the URA uh, and its management. Okay, so, so w what's the motivation again? It's, uh, you know, we, we would like to understand whether, you know, tax audits, operational audits, you know, tax audits, you know, work in the sense of, uh, you, know, you know, providing compliance in the future. Uh, we, we know that, you know, there, there are two things with audits, you know, tax audits. Uh, one is, um, you know, they have a um, um, uh, contemporaneous impact, you know, there's a verification stage, you know, you know businesses, taxpayers get audited. And some tax liability is verified if it has been underreported, but there's also, and more importantly, that audits you know, change behavior in the future. And this is the, you know, what, what we're you know, trying to tease out okay, with, this, uh, with this research. Uh, and this is what we call the dynamic impact, the intertemporal. You know, how taxpayers behave in the future once they get audited at some point um, uh, you know, by the tax authority. Uh, now, the, the type of, uh, of tax spaces we are looking at uh, in, in, this, in this study, at this point in time, we're going to be extending that as, a, as I'll say in a minute, is to, have, to evaluate the you know, corporate income tax audits uh, and also you know, VAT uh, you know, tax audits. Um, uh, there is a, in the plan, uh, you know, to look at, you know, PAYE uh, tax audits, but this is something that we haven't done as yet. Uh, and, you know, by the way, uh, what I'm going to say today is kind of, you know, tentative. Uh, is, uh, we're still working on this project. It's a long project, uh, you know, quite uh, data crunching is not, is not easy, uh, but you no, know, we're getting there. So the, the result I'm going to show you, uh, uh, you know, we think are, you know, interesting, and it, it's unlikely that they, they would change uh, as we, um, you know, uh, go through, you know, some robustness exercises that we're planning to do uh, shortly. Now, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through quickly what we know uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, the literature um, and, and also give you the gist of the, you know, the findings and then tell you, you know, how we do it um, very quickly. It's not going to be technical. It's going to be kind of a very high level presentation. Uh, but I'm, I'll be happy to talk to you if you find that interesting and go through the technicalities and more details uh, of, of this, of this uh, study. Now, uh, over, the, over the last years, uh, there, there has been, and I, and I guess because of you know, tax authorities you know, becoming more open, opening the doors okay, to scientists, okay, to you know, uh, play with the data, look at the data, examine the data, there has been, um, you know, work on evaluating, you know, tax audits. Um, it started uh, with a very nice paper uh, early in uh, um, uh, 2010 um, using, you know, Danish data. Um, uh, and then it kind of, uh, from, from then on, you know, more papers in the UK came out, mostly from developed, you know, countries. Um, 
the, the intensity is kind of you no know, continuous. Uh, again, as I said, you no know, more more tax authorities, you know, kind of uh, opening doors uh, to, to to us, um, and you know, mostly from the developed uh, world uh, studies that we have, mostly you know, tax audits you know, perform uh, you know what we should be expecting to to be performing, which is a kind of you know, have a positive uh, positive compliance impact. You know, mostly, not always. Uh, but but mostly uh, that that's true. Now, in, in terms of the uh, you know developing countries, you know the evidence is uh, is, is more limited. Um, uh, there are some 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 nice papers, and I have the references here. Uh, you know, looking at Pakistan, uh, you know VAT, you know tax audits in Pakistan, you know finding no impact of of those of those audits. Um, you know, myself with uh, you know some 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 others. You know, we have looked at you know Rwanda. Uh, you know, trying to assess again the impact of audits, but you know more importantly, you know different types of audits and how they impact you know, compliance. Uh, we find some interesting findings there, which is you know, kind of you know counterintuitive possibly. Um, and then there's a, there's another paper in you know, looking at network effects in in, in South Africa. Um, and more, more recently, an, another, another study on, you know, on, on Cameroon, uh, which is, uh, again, ongoing. Now, this, uh, what this study is going to do is kind of, uh, you know, contributes to this evidence. Uh, you know, external validity um, is, is difficult, okay, with these, uh, you know, with these, uh, with these studies, uh, because, you know, countries are different. They have, they have different institutional frameworks uh, uh, underlying them. So it's, dif it's difficult to, you know, uh, take a study and say if we apply these rules, the same is going to happen to the, the country we're looking at. So it is important that we kind of you know, continue this effort and try to understand you know, the mechanism underlying any, any impact, you know, positive or negative, that we find. Right, so, so what is the, uh, let, me, let me go through the snapshot, just the, as I said, it, you know, the, the results are very tentative. Um, now, what we find when it comes to the you know, corporate income taxes, you know, there is some positive you know, future compliance going on uh, in terms of you know, CAT you know, liability. So you know, once businesses get audited, then it, you know, they comply okay, in the future. Um, I, I have a caveat here, which is the setup is not yet perfect, as you'll see in a minute. But, but you know, we believe that you know, this positive impact is going is to stay even if we uh, fine tune the analysis a little, bit, a little bit more as we should. Uh, so uh, let's keep that. There's a, there's a positive future, uh, future compliance going on. Um, now, the, the evidence also seems to be suggesting that actually what, what, you know, you know, what, what is driving you know, these, uh, this compliance uh, is, is, not, is not all businesses across the spectrum, but it's those businesses that are kind of declaring nothing. Uh, um, so, so these are you know, what we call the nil filers. So the nil filers who have been audited, they seem to be driving, you know, this compliance, um, this future compliance, uh, positive future compliance in the, um, after the audit. Um, now, uh, also we have been trying to, you know, tease out whether, because the tax authorities are doing two types of audits, they do comprehensive, which is kind of very, uh, very intensive, so-called line by line, uh, and also, they do narrow scope, you know, focusing on the single issues, very specific audits. Uh, and what, what we find is that uh, if we exclude those narrow, um, narrow type issues, um, then you know there's no major change in the results. Um, yeah, so, um, uh, as you as you will see in a minute, and and importantly something that hasn't been uh, identified as yet in the literature, we find no difference between those who have been found compliant or non-compliant at the time of the audit. Typically, the literature differentiates, you know, finds, you know, differential impacts uh, for, for, in terms of compliance, for those who have been found compliant and non-compliant, with those non-compliant driving the future compliance. So, so here, you know, that, that's not coming through. And I think this is a very interesting finding that, you know, is, is worth exploring, you know, and, and understanding more. Okay, now a little bit on the specifics now. On the aggregate, uh, we, we find not a consistent, you know, dynamic response. 
uh, we find in significant, uh, so, so this for the VAT. For the VAT, on the aggregate, we find no consistent dynamic response, but we find a significant impact during the first and the second year, uh, and positive impact starting from the third year. Uh, focusing on the impact of audits on the probability of reporting positive VAT liabilities, those business who report positive VAT liabilities, uh, we find a significant negative impact, suggesting that the impact, of the impact of audits depends on the sign of the VAT liability reported. I have only five minutes, and speed up a little bit. Uh, thank you for that. Um, and, 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 and as I said previously, even for the VAT, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, you, know, the, you know, the result doesn't depend on the audit, on the audit outcome. Uh, I'm going to skip the institutional details a little bit. Uh, nothing, nothing strange here. I mean, this is a conference of developing countries. So, you know, you know Uganda, um, you know, the tax GDP is low. Consumptive tax contribute a lot and things like that. So I'm, let me skip that. Now, for the audit, for the audit process, um, uh, you know, they, they do uh, audit. Audits are risk-based. They use two scores, uh, risk and financial importance scores. The selection is, uh, is, uh, is not deterministic. There's some discussion going on, which you know, we need to be careful in the, in the empirics uh, for that. Uh, and as I said, there are two types of audits, comprehensive and issues, uh, issue-oriented, um, and the, the, the penalty is not 2% uh, and, uh, uh, and, inter and interest 20% on the uh, uh, income of the reported. Now for the data, uh, we, we have the, um, you know, the universe, um, I think, of the, uh, from you know, 2014 to 2021 uh, for CAT, VAT, and you know, currently, as I said, we're working on the PAYE. Uh, we have the, the universe, uh, the data, of, of, of the, the universe of the data on, on, on its records uh, and information on the selection process. So we take all this data, and then what we do is, uh, and, and also we have the audit waves. Uh, because we, we have audits every year, so we have all these audit waves okay, to use. Uh, we use the matching uh, to identify the counterfactual, um, and, and then we're using this okay, uh, uh, you know, constructed you know, control group uh, within a, in a different diff uh, okay, to estimate the impact of the audits, and in the matching, you know, we use you know, various, various variables to do that. So this is for the, uh, for the CIT. Now, uh, graphically, I'm going to show you what I said at the beginning. This is for the CIT. Uh, and as you can see, you know, the, uh, the line, the, the vertical dotted line is where the, uh, you know, the audit uh, you know, has happened. So as you can see, for the CIT, you know, we have, uh, you know, following the audit, uh, you know, the, uh, CIT declarations increase. This is significant because the, 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 the confidence intervals are above the zero. Um, and we're using a various, you know, uh, 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 as I said, you know, matching uh, uh, to, to, to uh, uh, and the impact is the same. Yeah, so you see a positive trend. So, you know, CAT on the aggregate, the average treatment that treated is, is significant over the years. Uh, now, for the VAT, things change, and we try to understand why this is the case. We're looking at you know, uh, a little bit in more detail in the, in the VAT uh, rules to see how, you know, wh why business behave like that. So for VAT, you know, we find significance okay, two years after the audit. So there's a, there's a sluggishness, there's a, there's a late reaction. We don't really understand that, but we, you know, we're trying to kind of uh, you know, look into the data and uh, uh, see why this might be the case. Uh, I think this is interesting. Uh, <clears throat> as I said previously, for the CIT, uh, whether you know business have been identified as compliant or non-compliant, uh, it doesn't really matter. You know they comply better, you know more in the future. Um, so again, this is this is something which is uh, you know we find interesting, uh, and something that hasn't been sort of uh, observed in the uh, in the empirical literature before. Um, for, for VAT, uh, uh, you know, things are, are the same. Yeah? So there's, there's a sluggishness, uh, and it, it doesn't seem to be, you know, there's some you know, significance, you know, years after the audit, uh, um, and that's independent of the, the type of, uh, of um, behavior, either, you know, businesses were compliant or non-compliant. Um, and let me conclude, I have one minute left. 
So um, this is a conference on you know, revenue mobilization. So evaluate tax audits is very important. We need to understand whether these are uh, for revenue mobilization. We need to understand whether the audits work. And if they don't, we need to find ways of fixing them. So evaluating is important. Uh, what, we, what this project is about is to evaluate these tax audits. Uh, we find some positive compliance go, you know, going, uh, going on. Um, NIM filers are driving the response. Um, and you know, the VAT uh, audits uh, do not have a compliance effect in the short run, but only from the third year on. Now, what the, what the research doesn't do is it doesn't evaluate the quality of audits, uh, including the processes, the allocation to orders, et cetera. This is something that is important. Uh, very little work is, is, going, is going on on that. I think that needs to be uh, you know, more carefully looked at. It's important because they affect the outcome, um, and it's an issue that deserves uh, you know, further attention. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you. Thank you.